Coast Tribe Warriors, Israelite Static Addicts. I pray some more side so that you got the sun. Verses are the blessings in which we will inherit, in which we will come upon Israel because his word will never come back for Know that. But what befell us because we fumbled and dropped the ball. Let's get some understanding, Israel. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. We're going to jump up. We're going to jump around. We're going to get some understanding concerning the children of Israel. Get to some history as well. All right? Let's get it, Hebrew. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. All in the Bible. The black man is not an African, an Afro-Asiatic. He's the Hebrew Israelite that the Bible speaks of. God's chosen. If we lying, get your preacher, your theologian, scholar out here. Tell him come with his scripture. Get some understanding, Hebrew. But it should come to pass. Uh -huh. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if you would not listen to the voice of the Lord your God, black man, come on. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statute, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses along with this stuff. Now realize that the people in Jerusalem or the Jews or the Israelites, the Bible speak of, they must match the curses. All right, let's get it. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be in the field. You ever wonder why our cities, our neighborhoods look the way they look? The Lord say in the city or in the field, even if you Negroes live in what you call the suburbs. Uh -huh. Or even when our four persons was out in the slave fields, picking cotton. No prosperity. Cursed shall ye be. Come on, Israel. Cursed shalt thou be. Cursed shalt thou shall thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy land. Now he say, curse shall be the, your basket and your store. This is going into our businesses. How do we survive? We was farmers back in the day, or husbands. And we survived off our crops that we planted and that we harvested. Understand that. He say, curse shall be your basket and your store. You ever wonder why black businesses don't last that long? You ever wonder why UPS been in business forever? FedEx forever? The United States Postal Service forever? But when a Negro try to open him up a business, it can get ran out the neighborhood within three years. Why is that? We went against our God, black people. Let's get some more understanding. And the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. So he let you know no matter what condition we in, we will be a curse would follow us. Because we went against our God. We are his children, he's our father. And like your father will give you instructions on how to properly walk in his house and what rules to obey in his house, the heavenly father gave his children, gave his, gave his children laws, commandments, and statutes on how they're supposed to act on this earth right here. And the reason why we go through what we go through is we went against them commandments. Let's read Israel. Verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, uh, and rebuke. And all that thou settest thine hand unto. So us as a nation, no matter if it's a few token Negroes like Bill Cosby or Oprah Winfrey, we're talking about us as a nation. Us as a nation are the number one consumers, but we own nothing. We don't we don't manufacture nothing even as small as a toothpick. Know that. We are cursed as a nation of people. That ain't how you survive as a nation of people. Come on, Negro. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, 
Until thou be destroyed. Until you be what? Until thou be destroyed. Until you be destroyed. We are destroyed as a people, physically and spiritually, and minimum. Understand that. If any other nation done went through what we went through, they'd have been had delegates up at the United Nations. Uh, this is a state of emergency that we are in. Right? And we need to get back to our God ASAP. Put a rush order on. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? Come on, Hebrew. And until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he hath consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. You hear me? So it was a time when we had our own land. America is not your land, Negro. We had our own land. It's called Jerusalem. It's called the land of Israel that was promised to Abraham. The Lord gave it to us as a, as a, as a fulfillment and promise to Abraham, but told us we would soon perish off that land if we didn't do what thus saith the Lord. That don't mean go to church on Sunday, get a preacher tithes or none of that. That don't mean that. The Lord gave commandments, huh? And because we got away from them commandments, the other heathens can ride up, police can ride up right now, shoot all of us and get paid for it. Why? Because we went against the God of the Bible. That ain't no religion. These are laws, commandments, statutes, and judgments that the children of Israel must live by. You're not an African. Get that out your mind. <clears throat> There's a big difference between you and Akeem Olajuwon. You and Manute Bo, big difference. LeBron James and Kobe Bryant are not from the same seed as Manu Bo. Negroes run 100 yards in nine seconds. Can't no African do that. Understand that. We are the seed of Israel. Oh, yes, we're a dark-skinned nation, but we're not Africans. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 22. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Right out. So he let you know that we would be in a situation where we would be sick. Remember, from the sole of our foot all the way up to the top of our head, the crown of our head. Every fiber of our being, we are sick. Why? We don't went against the God of the Bible. The preacher ain't teaching you about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus' daddy. That's what we talking about. Jesus Christ is our big brother. He's our king. But he was sent to a certain group of people. Know that, just and to prove that we are not Africans, we're gonna pull out this Bible dictionary right here. The Zondervan Bible dictionary. Understand that Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Jacob. We descend from the seed of Shem, where Abraham came from, Isaac, Jacob, they were all dark skinned people. Know that. Ham. Right out the Bible dictionary. Pay close attention, they'll never teach you this in church. They got you thinking you're a Gentile. Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one eight person to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, the father of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Those are your families of Africa right there. Your sons of Ham, you Negroes are not Hamitic. You're Shemitic. You come from the same nation. And who the world called Jesus Christ come from. That's why you're the best at whatever you do from rhyme to crime. Athletics or shooting dice, it don't matter. Negroes can get it all. The best people that have ever graced this planet. All right, but because we went against our God, we are serving our enemies in the land that our forefathers knew not. But our enemies in the super hand. Keep reading, he wrote. Don't throw that up in that, man. That's that man. man. We don't want to get down to That is over thy head. Uh -huh shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Uh -huh. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. I realize that we depended on the rain if we did what the most I said. If you read verse 1 through 14, if, you, if, if we kept the commandments of God, he would send the latter rain and the former rain. The rain in this new season so we can get our crops and harvest. But because we went against our God, guess what? Our rain was turned into dust and powder. No harvest for you Negroes. You Negroes don't own no land, no you're not harvesting no crops, therefore you can't even survive in, 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 in world economics. You can't even survive. You depend on your enemy for everything, from your drawers to your socks, down to your food. All right, keep reading, Hebrew. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. 
The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. The scripture say that the Lord will cause the children of Israel to be smitten or slain before their enemies. That's why they got the power to ride up and kill us. Why we don't win against the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. That ain't no religion. They don't teach you about him in church on Sunday. None of that. Why? How we know that? Because they don't teach you the commandments of God. God said, if you love me, keep the commandments. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. You hear that? So Israel was prophesied to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. You ever wonder why we was thrown on the slave ships? You ever wonder why you was told, get down in the bottom of that slave ship, niggas, and go over here and pick cotton? You ever wondered why? We went against our God. Read that again, Hebrew. We shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. You're not a Gentile like the pastor tell you. You're from the same nation that Jesus Christ come from, who was a black man, who was a Negro according to the scripture. His descendants was prophesied to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. That's why you can go to Europe. That's why you can go into the Mideast and you will find a Negro. We everywhere. Why? We went against our God. We are not dwelling as a what about sovereign nation. What about who? Sicilians. What, the Italians? Yeah. We ran Spain as well and Italy. The Moors did. They conquered Italy yeah, and Spain. Yeah, the Moors, but, the, but, but the Moors, by blood, are Hebrews. They are brothers that picked up a philosophy called Islam. So where did the Turks come from? The Turks came, the, 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 the Turks, Turks right here? The Turks. The Turks, the Ottoman Turks, they're your, they're your modern day, they're from Turkey. Your modern day Turks. Ottoman Turks, the Ottoman yeah, Turkish the Empire. The Ottoman, Tur the Ottoman Turkish Empire is modern day Turkey or what the Bible Bible called Syria. That's modern day Turkey today. They had their time when they ruled as well. But we are not Ottoman Turks. According to the prophecy, we are the children of Israel. God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. Us as black folks. Yay. Us as black folks. The guy the slave ships. They hang on street corners. They kill each other. They fill up the jail cells. Don't speak on all that. Oh, oh, but we, that's what the Bible speaks of. That's who we are. Matter of fact, hold that. Grab, grab that. Jeremiah 17. We give you an example. Hey, brother. We're going to give you an example. We're going to give you an example. Listen real quick. Jeremiah 17. See, they, they try to throw that on us like we Afro-Asiatic. That ain't who we are. That's the identity of our enemies. We are the seed of Israel. Israel means Prince of God. That's who you are. You're wrong. I am sorry. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to throw that bad for men up, though. That's the devil horn. Yeah, that's the devil horn. You don't want to throw that up. Don't throw that up, bro. That's the devil horn. Jeremiah 17. Read verse 4 real quick. Listen real quick, bro. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Listen what the script says. Go ahead. And thou, uh -huh. even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. The Bible say that we was going to discontinue from the heritage that he gave us. That's why we think we Afro-Americans, Negroes, Afro-Asiatic. We're the only group of people that run around with different identities. Why? We went against God. Ain't nobody told you was a child of Israel, one of God's chosen. They didn't tell us we they didn't tell us we're more. Let's keep reading, Negro. That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. And I will cause you to serve your enemies. Go ahead. In the land which thou knowest not. In a land that we don't even know. Come on. For ye have kindled a fire in my name. Right. Which shall burn forever. You hear what the Lord say? That's why we went against him. So guess what? He rolled these other nations up on us and allowed them to come and take us over. And that's why we was told to go pick that cotton. That's why we hung to the trees. That's why we got that back with. And that's why you know as the nigga, the grip, the blood, the mason, whatever to this day. We remember that you a child of Israel, brother. You're wrong. But guess what? Until we turn back to our true nationality and start keeping the commandments of God, these nations will keep them. They're going to keep The police going to keep riding up and throwing us in jail. So we need to get back to our God ASAP and put a rush hold on. Know that. Verse 5. Uh huh. Thus said the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Hear what the Bible say? Don't trust in no man. Do what thus saith the scripture. The scripture was not written by no white man like they try to tell you. 
All these brothers was black. Even the brother that authorized the translation of the Bible was black. King James. He was black. black. And make the flesh his own. Uh -huh. And whose heart departed from the Lord. Right. Now, now grab Luke 21, 24. Read this up. Verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. So blessed is the man that trusteth in the Most High. Know that. Come on. And whose hope the Lord is. Right out, right in Luke 21, 24. Jesus Christ prophesied about our captivity, our slavery, and that Gentiles or imposters will be living in our land until he return and take them out. Why? We went against our God. The Bible, the Lord ain't never gave no religion called Islam or Christianity or Judaism or Buddhism. The Lord of the Bible gave commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Negroes ain't gonna be running around here killing each other, none of that. That's a coward. Know that. It's a coward for us to be, to be killing our own nation. It's a war we in. You feel me? We are not each other's enemies. Our enemies are the other nations. Know that. And guess what? They've been known who we are. Let's get it. He wrote Luke 21, 24. Luke 21, 24. Let's get it. All in the Bible. So keep reading, he broke. Do nothing too. We was never going to get 40 acres and a mule. Never. You're, you're not going to get reparations in your enemy's land. Stop it. Stop it. They don't do that. They don't. There's no such thing as equality. If one nation is ruling, the other nation is serving. That's what it is. That's why when Christ returned, he say, the last shall be first. We are the last right now. Christ returned, he going to gather us, and we'll be kings and queens again, not thugs and hoes. Running around her stanky leg instead of opening up this scripture and finding out what your God say do. That's why it's gonna be more killings. It's gonna be more natural catastrophes until we turn back to our God. And to turn back to Him don't mean you gotta go to church on Sunday. That means open up your Bible and start keeping the commandments that God gave and believe in the blood, atoning sacrifice of His Son Jesus Christ. That's what that means, and that's a way of life. All right, come on, brother. Verse 39. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes. You hear that? So that lets you know we'll be working hard, we'll be doing the planting, we'll be doing all the cropping and everything. But guess what? None of those, none of the harvest will be benefiting us as a people or as a nation. To this day, you depend on your enemy to clothe you, feed you, provide for your babies and everything. We even send our babies to their schools uh, instead of giving them their true nationality. A true identity and culture is found in the Bible. Read, Israel. For the worm shall eat them. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all that coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil. Mm. For thine olive shall cast his fruit. 
Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy and them. You wonder why we don't enjoy our children these days? Why is it? Why are these little Negroes running around here killing each other like it's going out of style? Huh? Why are these little Negroes is, 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 is a terrorist to these neighborhoods? These old people are scared to come outside. Yeah. neighborhoods. It's all in the Bible. Thou shall be get children, but guess what? You won't enjoy it. You win against your God. Keep reading, Hebrew. Verse 41 over. Thou shall be get sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. They shall go into what? They shall go into captivity. What captivity mean? Slave. You ever wonder why you're a slave? You ever wonder why all of us go back to the South with our roots picking cotton? Jim Crow is? You ever wonder why? Let's be the tree, Hebrew. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Uh -huh. The stranger that is within thee. The stranger that is within you, black people. Listen to this. The stranger of the other nations that is within you. Come on. Shall get above thee very high. Shall get above you very high. Come on. And thou shalt come down very low. You shall come down very low. Look at our neighborhoods. Look at what we go through. He shall lend to thee. He shall lend to you. Come on. And thou shalt not lend to him. And you won't lend to him. There really, there's a, a small fraction of so-called black banks. Uh, know that. We don't go, we, we are not the nation that's lending to other nations. They lend to us. Huh? Know that. Matter of fact, hope that grab Proverbs 22 and 7. The scriptures tell you that the borrower is serving to the lender. So if we're in a position where we're always borrowing and they lending to us, you still a slave. It was never supposed to be like that. Never supposed to be like that. Proverbs 22 and 7. Now remember, he said, he shall lend to you, but you won't lend to him. He gonna get up above you very high, you gonna come down very low. He gonna play the head and you gonna play the tail. You're, you're at an economic disadvantage and the solution is not politics. The solution is not vote. You'll forever be at economic disadvantage in your enemy's land. That's what the Bible say. What it say, Hebrew? The rich ruler uh -huh. over the poor. Let me start that over. Verse 7. Uh -huh. The rich ruling over the poor. The rich ruling over the poor. These world, these world bankers control all this, right? Come on. And the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is servant to the lender. We always going to get loans from these other nations, whether it's financing for a car, a house, whatever it may be. We are not in position when we're giving out loans. We are not in a position where we loan into the other nations. They are loaning to us. And the scriptures say the borrower is serving to the lender. Let's get back to this Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 44. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Right. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all of these curses shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee, uh -huh. and overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Until you be destroyed. So the Lord said these curses will follow Israel. This does not fit the Khazarian imposter Jew over in the land right now. This fits you, black people. This fits you, Puerto Rican, Native American, and ain't just the Western Hemisphere. We scattered all over the map. You ever wonder why the oppression is? You ever wonder why we go through what we go through? You know, forsook your God. So he gave the power into your enemy's hand. Let's read, he wrote. Because thou hearkenest not to the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To keep his commandments and his statute, which he commanded thee. Shout out. And that should be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Forever. So later for that, oh, brother, that was in the Old Testament. Later for that. That just said that will be upon you and your seed forever. Seed means children. Huh? These are curses that prevail the children of Israel because they went against their God. We start worshiping yeah, God. Really that we was born this. Israel was called we was born. Yeah. From the beginning in Genesis, we were called Israel. Our forefather Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. We are the descendants of Jacob, not Ishmael. Ishmael was what Abraham called. Verse 19 and 20. What Verse 19 and 20. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. The Lord only gave his word to Jacob, the sons of Israel. Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right, come on. He have not dealt so with any nation. The Lord ain't dealt with the Arabs. He ain't dealt with the white man. He ain't dealt with the Africans or the Chinese. He only dealt with Joseph. 
your people. It's a difference between our God and the God of Arabs. Come on. And as far as judgment, uh -huh. they have not known them. Right. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So we're not talking about our lot of moment. We're talking about the God in his Bible right here. Rap Exodus 315. Praise the Lord. Right up. Yeah, no doubt, brother. No, it's time for us to wake up. Time for us to wake up out here and start serving that God. Yes, sir. Not the God of the Arabs, because they'll soon be taken out. You seen what's going on over in North Africa? Yeah. The Arab world is riding right now. Yeah. The Lord has sent the perverse spirit to mingle the perverse spirit amongst them. And they ain't, hey, look, it's war going on. They, the God of our lives are not saved. But check us out. Jerusalem is right next to Africa. Sorry. Sorry. Northeast Africa. We're not Africans. We from the we from the sea of Shino. Africans come from the sea of Ham. Noah had three sons. Ham, Shem, and Jack. Yeah. All of them was dark skinned, but we're not the four families of Africa. We're Shemites. That's where Abraham was from. Isaac, Jacob. Oh, you feel me? Oh, we're not Africa. I read an Exodus 315. Show me which God we talking about. We're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, 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 brother, be safe out here, man. We got next, man. All right. All right, time for us to stand up back to our God. Exodus 315. Exodus 315. All right. And God said, Moreover to Moses, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, the children of, who? The children of Israel, right. the Lord God of your father, uh -huh. the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. Uh -huh. This is my name for Alpha, right. and this is my memorial unto all generations. So he said he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the God of Abraham and Ishmael. Ain't no such thing as an uh, Arab prophet. Or an Egyptian prophet, or a white prophet. The only prophets were the Hebrews, and they all were black men, men of color. Know that. So that's the way to handle that business, Hebrews. Get back to these, these prophecies. Where you at? I'm in Deuteronomy 28, verse 45. Uh -huh. Read that over. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. These curses would chase us as a people. Come on. Because thou hearkenest not to the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which he commanded. So we didn't listen to the Lord, he sent the enemies on us. He sent the other nations on us. Because we didn't listen to him and keep his commandments. He never gave a religion. Get that out your mind. The Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is a book of nationhood and prophecy concerning you and your people and the other nations of the world. All right, come on, brother. That should be for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder upon thy seed forever, uh -huh. because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Because you didn't serve your God in joyfulness and the abundance of heart for the want of all things. That's why you depend on your enemies now. What else you say, bro? Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. So you're going to serve your enemies, not your friends. Get that out your mind. These other nations know who they are, and they know that we are their enemies. Know that. Read, Israel. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in wants of all things. Uh -huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That's slavery right there. He put a yoke of iron on our neck. Uh, and it said we will serve him in hunger, and thirst, and in want of all things. Your enemies make your draws, black people. Your enemies cut your checks. Your enemies set up grocery stores and all that. We depend on the other nations for everything instead of depending on our God. That's why we go through what we go through. Understand it. Let's read this real. Until he have destroyed thee, uh -huh. the Lord shall bring a nation against thee uh -huh. from far, from the end of the earth. From the end of the earth. Come on. As swift as the eagle flies. Swift as the eagle. That's another way to identify Esau. Esau uses the symbol of an eagle, whether it be the American eagle, whether it be Nazi Germany, whether it be Rome. That's his symbol. He uses the symbol of an eagle. Know that. The book of Obadiah said Esau, even though you exalt yourself as the eagle, you shall be brought down. That's their symbol. That's what they use. All right, come on, Israel. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. All right. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of their own, nor show favor to the young. So they don't matter. It don't matter if, I, if our people is old or young. These other nations do not care about us. That's why it's time for us to stick together, black people, in unity and spirit, according to this Bible right here. Get out these various nationalities uh, and ideologies and religious beliefs. Pick up your Bible because you are the Jew of the Israelite. The Bible speaks up. All right, come on, brother. And he shall and he shall eat the fruit of thy land of thy cattle. And the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed. Jump down to verse 61, Hebrews. You don't need to see. 
verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee you hear that? Go ahead. until thou be destroyed. Until you be destroyed. So now this is the answer to why we are the number one in all the major diseases, whether it be heart disease, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, whatever it may be, especially gout. Gout as well. Understand that we as a people are number one in all the diseases. How is that possible? We went against our God. All right, come on, Israel. 610. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the, in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And you shall be left few in number. You shall be left few in number. Ain't we called the minority? Hmm. Now, check this out globally. And if you unite all the sons of Abraham, of the seed of Israel, we are the majority, for real. But the reason we are the minority, we are divided, guess what? In thought, in worship of God, huh? And who we are as a people. So guess what? Since we divided, we are the minority. 